Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look inside Travis Barker's elegant Calabasas home. Let's get right into it. Travis Barker, the in-demand musician, has had a busy spring. In just four weeks, the Blink-182 drummer completed work on Machine Gun Kelly's latest album, Mainstream Sellout, and then performed with Reba McIntyre in front of millions at the Academy Awards. He also performed a fiery set with Lenny Kravitz and her at the Grammy Awards in Las Vegas before heading back to the studio to finish Black Bear's latest album, In Loving Memory. Oh, and he married his formidable fiancé, now wife, Kourtney Kardashian, in a Vegas chapel in Italy with A-list celebrities on the guest list. The quintessential rock star who is regularly featured on lists of the greatest drummers of all time said, It was a perfect month. When Barker needs to unwind with family and friends, he takes the exit off the fast lane and heads straight to Calabasas, where he lives with his three children, Landon and Alabama Barker, and Atlanta De La Hoya. Barker decided it was time for a change three years ago, in order to instill a greater sense of calm and order in the expansive home he'd owned for 15 years. The musician reached out to the inimitable Waldo Fernandez, a perennial fixture on the AD100, who has stood at the crossroads of design and celebrity for five decades at the suggestion of his mother-in-law, Kris Jenner. Barker said in his initial meeting with the design legend, I love the simplicity and zen quality of his work. We connected immediately. Fernandez recalled, Travis wasn't looking for a major statement or any kind of caricatured rock star style. He then added, he wanted a home that would allow him to think and be at peace with himself. In practical terms, that vision manifested itself in a subdued color palette, tailored ensembles of linen-covered upholstery, warm wood-accented pieces with heavy patina, and custom furnishings inspired by mid-century classics. Fernandez continued, we did it all with a very light hand, which was in keeping with the mission. Barker admits that the calm atmosphere is a departure from some of his previous residences. The musician explained, I've had homes with lots of flashy cars, murals and bikes hanging from the ceiling, but with three children of my own, plus Courtney's kids, this place felt right for this moment in my life. I wanted a house where I could rest and enjoy my family, a place where we can create memories. For example, he describes typical Sunday ideals at Casa Barker, in which the family gathers for a vegan meal, followed by puzzles and board games, or simply hanging out and watching movies. While the furnishings suggest a sophisticated, urbane sensibility, the art on the walls fits the musician's hard-rocking, tattoo-rific public persona better. Raymond Pettibon, an artist with deep roots in Southern California's punk rock scene, is heavily represented in the collection. The works on display by Pettibon's range from the artist's early underground flyers for Black Flag and other seminal punk rock acts to the artist's signature image and text paintings sought after by contemporary art collectors. The entry foyer features an Andy Warhol Diamond Dust Dracula installed above a 19th century Chinese console. Barker recalled, I saw it in a gallery when I was just 19 or 20 years old, touring in New York City. The Diamond Dust reminded me of the grip tape on a skateboard deck. I had to have it. Like skateboarding and BMX racing, the Zine has long been part of the musician's DNA. In addition to co-owning the DTA clothing label, Barker has recently launched a collection of skull-themed homewares and accessories, everything from drum keys to table lamps and candle holders. In collaboration with the London-based company Buster & Punch, which has also outfitted the drummer's expansive new recording studio. He said of his creative predilections, I like finding different ways to express myself, especially projects that cross the lines between music, fashion, art and design. Asked how his recent marriage will affect the musician's domestic arrangements, Barker demurs. Courtney has a great house a block away from here. Right now, I'm just planning to convert my home studio into a bunk room, so her kids are comfortable here. He then added, In the future, I suppose we'll wait to find something better than what we have. Wherever we end up, we feel incredibly blessed and grateful. True enough, Courtney's home is a dream come true for a lot of people. Courtney purchased a Tuscan-style home that measures 11,500 square feet. Courtney worked with decorator Martin Lawrence Bullard to bring her vision to life after purchasing the property from former NFL star Keyshawn Johnson. The unique bones of Kourtney Kardashian's home take your breath away the moment you walk in. Unlike many mansions, Kourtney's home has almost floor-to-ceiling windows with modern black trim that look out onto the lush green backyard area. While Kourtney's home isn't as bare and neutral as her sister Kim's, she does appear to prefer a relatively neutral colour palette and modern design choices in her space. As an added bonus, even though she has her own space, her family is never far away. Kourtney's mother, Kris Jenner, has a mansion nearby, and sisters Kylie Jenner and Khloe Kardashian have homes nearby in Calabasas, California. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.